Hey everyone, this is gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna show you some ways to give your Schoology materials and updates course some pizzazz. Now, I've noticed announcement buttons and Bitmoji classrooms have been a very popular thing in Schoology, so I decided to create a video on just that. In this video, we're gonna look at announcement buttons, buttons that are interactive, that pop up on your materials and updates page. We're gonna go over designing these buttons, designing the banners, linking the buttons, and I'm gonna show you how to put these buttons in your announcement. So let's check it out. So you'll need three things first, okay? And there might be another way of doing this. Maybe you all use Microsoft Word or you use Paint, but we're gonna be using Google Apps for this tutorial. I just want to show you what this button banner looks like. So right here, this is my course, my innovative learning course or innovation design. And from my materials page, this is the first thing my students will see. I have a banner here and I have a few clickable buttons. This goes to my Twitter page. This goes to my standing Zoom personal room. So I'll have office hours throughout the year that they can just go in there and access the Zoom. And I just have a link to my class website. And look, they're all clickable. So if I click on this, It'll lead me to my Twitter page. If I click on this, it'll lead to my personal Zoom meeting. And then I have my class website if I click on that. I'm gonna show you how to make this and you'll need three things. Two Google Slides and one Google Docs. Like I said, you might be a Microsoft Word user, Microsoft Paint, that's fine. But I am uh, I use Google, Google's men. Google and I, we're like, we're like this. So uh, I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to create this using Google Docs and Google Slides. Again, I have two Google Slides and I have a Google Doc. And the reason why I have two Google Slides, because if you notice this banner here is longer or wider than my buttons. So I have one Google Slide presentation, which is my top banner. And I have this set at a specific page setup ratio, I guess. I have it set at 10 by five inches. And to change that, it's default as like widescreen and I customized it. So I went to file page setup, custom, 10 by five inches, and I got this. And what I had done, I just added a couple of shapes using the shape tool. I added word art, so insert word art, and I typed in innovation design, and I have a different font. So design 101, stick with at least one or two fonts. It doesn't have to be crazy. And I, I have uh, some contrasts here. I use a different font for my name my title and my Twitter handle, and then another shape. I'm going to show you, there's a website that I go to called Font, I believe it's Font Pair. Let me see, let me make sure. Uh, yeah, fontpair.co, which helped me find a good font pairing. And I found one that I liked and I used that. I also use a website called Font Joy, and Font Joy is another great pairing font generator that pairs fonts that go well together. But anyways, that's a little bit extra stuff. So I'm going back to my slide. So that's my banner, all right? Next, I'm going to create my buttons. And my buttons are square. So what I had to do was do a file, page setup, custom, and I did a six by six. So that's a square, all right? And I inserted an image and then word art on top of it. And what I use for my images, it's an add-on called a uh, flat icon, or if you search icons for slides and docs, I use that as my icon. So I got that Twitter icon from here, uh, Zoom, this web conference icon I got from there as well. So if you go here, you just search any icon. So if I type in classroom, I'll find some icons that I can potentially use. Now, note in this add-on, if there's a crown next to it, it's not free. You gotta pay for it, which I actually do. I actually pay for this product because I use it all the time, all right? So once you make your buttons and your banner, this is what you have to do. So let's go to my banner first. I'm going to hit File, Download as a PNG. I, I tend to do PNG all the time, especially if you have transparent backgrounds, and PNG tend to be the, high, the best quality images in my opinion. So I'm just gonna do PNG and it's gonna drop here in the bottom as banner.png. I'm going to go to my buttons. Once my buttons are done, I hit file, download, current slide, PNG. Go to the next one, file, download, PNG, current slide. Go to the next one, file, download, PNG, current slide. Okay. Then I open a Google document. All right, so here's a blank Google document. 
and tables are your best friend no matter what you're doing. If you're doing uh, tables in your discussion description or in your assignment description or if you're making your announcement banners, tables are your best friend. So I'm going to insert table. It's going to be a 3 by 2 since I have three buttons on the bottom, okay? Alright, so I have that. What I'm going to do is take this top row, highlight the top three cells, right click, merge cells. Alright? Okay. Then what I'm going to do is find my banner from the bottom here and I'm just going to drag that right up there in that cell. Let go. Okay, and then it puts my banner right there. Then I'm going to get the other three buttons and drag it into the other cells. One. Two. Three. All right. Now I've got my I got my banner and my buttons. But now what I want to do is hide and make sure the table border doesn't show. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to cl right click the table. Okay. Table properties. And then I'm going to make the table border white. Okay. All right. So I have my banner done, but we're not done yet. We need to add the links. So I'm going to click on the picture. I'm going to click on link right here, insert link. Type in the whatever the web link is. So for this is twitter.com backslash edtechlegaspy. And I think it'll show up. Let's see. There it is. Okay, for your Zoom, whatever your personal meeting room is or your Zoom link. I'm just going to do zoom.us for now. And then my class website. Click on insert link www.edtechlegaspy.com and then apply. All right, so we've got our banner, we've got our links. All we've got to do, all we got to do, all we have to do is highlight Command C or Control C, depending if you're using a Mac or a PC. We're going to go back to our course, and for the sake of this example, I'm going to remove this. Okay. I'm going to go to announce updates. Sorry, I'm going to add updates. And in this post box, I am going to paste that table in there. And I can increase this so we can see what it looks like. That looks great. And notice if I click on these buttons, it will link out. Okay. Now, I'm going to post as an announcement. Again, click on this button right here. Click the bell. Hit post. Okay, so when I hit post as an announcement, it's going to appear in my updates. It's also going to appear in materials, and that's where we want it to appear, right there. Okay, and notice if I hover over these buttons, they link out just like that, okay? All right, if you have any questions or if you have a better workflow on how you create buttons, I'd love to hear about it. Comment in the descriptions. Thanks again.